Welcome in everybody, I'm Joey, back on the Crew Meme Fest Tree Hitting Simulator George the Jungle Edition, I guess, and we're in Monster Trucks. What else would we really be in? We're all for the memes here, and I think I found a new pro MLG strat. It's called Falling Off a Bridge. These guys are doing it impeccably well. So esports boys, if you want to get your notebooks out right now, there's going to be a ton you're going to need to take notes on. And by a ton, I mean absolutely nothing. These videos will not help you get better at any game whatsoever, especially this one. And as we come around the sharp left, we're spun by a Hummer and hit the tree. It's still the tree hitting simulator. So bad news is we hit a fucking tree. Good news is we got the whole race to make up for it. What could possibly go wrong? the last 93% of this race. I think it's gonna go nice and smooth, nice and dandy. All right, here we go, off the jump ahead. The Chevy next to us is also gonna go for the jump and then whatever that other pickup was, slammed straight into the side of the mountain. And then I show you another MLG strat. It's called falling off of a cliff. So write that down and practice it if you wanna be 15th out of 21 racers online. That's a pretty good spot. This is not a good spot, that's a tree. He died and I took his position, so there's hope for us left. We're gonna skip forward 33% into the race, which means we're switching cars into the Ford Focus rally style this time. Getting passed by a couple of guys here, not good news. We're going to continue on into a farm field and destroy all this poor farmer's crop and then jump on top of a lotus. He's clearly not interested in me trying to hitch a free ride and then we're just running over pineapples. I don't know about you guys. I swear to God, I thought pineapples grew on trees. Breaking news, they don't. What the fuck? So armed with this valuable new information, we continue on our journey to finish in a mediocre position. And then here we'll throw it into warp speed as we murder more pineapples and cross a couple more fields. Now we drop out of warp speed and head into a foresty area. And I know what you're thinking, forest means trees. And oh, you are right, bang, there we go. Flipping over, hitting more trees. That's how we like to do it. Two minutes into the video, two trees hit. That's a good old double doink right there. Now 59% through the race. We're still in the fort. Over the crest and down into the active volcano we go, gaining a couple of positions, getting by the Camaro and the Fiesta nice and easy. The Fiesta throwing on the Jets, reclaiming 13th place. My nitrous reserves are pretty low, so I don't have anything to give, but the Fiesta goes for a liftoff here. And I'm sorry, I had to blur this out. He touched me with the underside of his car, and I didn't like it. And I didn't want you guys to have to see that. And as you guys can see, I was clearly in shock, lost complete track of where I was and had to go back to the checkpoint. By the end of the race, I was still in 14th place, but the Bronco up ahead is in 13th and we've got some guy driving backwards, a chance to reclaim the place that is rightfully ours and we crossed the line in 13th place. It was a disaster of a race, so in the end, I did decide to drown myself and I guess so did that other guy in the pickup truck. I present to you our glorious winners, and this guy is apparently fighting his own constipation. So that's a new one. Moving on to the next race, and you can have a look here. We are in 28th out of 28. So we're gonna do a little last to first challenge here and see how far up the grid we can go. It's looking good. Well, it was looking good before I almost spun out there. Some guy break checked like five other guys, and we gained a couple of spots up into 24th now, 23rd, 22nd, 21st. 19th <laughs> we're just 18th 17th our journey to the front of the pack is starting to look pretty good right now and we start our ascent up the side of the volcano but this guy up ahead swerves across the road goes into ghost mode and i somehow hit his shadow no real harm done though the bagani is still alive and moving we kept most of that momentum and up into 11th place now we can make that a top 10 position as we swerve around those two slow pokes right there. Now this is one of my favorite routes in the game because as we're exiting the volcano like we are now, everything gets very downhill. All right, over the edge, don't be a wimp, keep that accelerator down, looking up the inside of whatever that car was and then totally forgetting which side the brake is on, slamming straight into the wall. And after all of that remaining in eighth place, a little further down the mountain, this guy went bye-bye off the side of it. That is one place where the falling off the cliff strategy will definitely not work. 
We're 18% through the race now, so things are starting to spread out a bit. And then as a reaction to trying to not go off the track, I ended up pushing that guy off, grabbing a couple of positions out of it, catching up to third place, and then getting myself onto the podium for the time being. It wouldn't really last long though, because through this little twisty section here, the guy who I thought I pushed off comes back for the move. It doesn't quite last all that long for him, and I steal that position back and then get ahead of second place as well as we switch into the Alpha GP cars, the Formula cars. This is where things get interesting though. We've all switched into our new cars, which means we have to get used to the new handling, which I'm obviously struggling with over here in the grass. I get overtaken, pushed down into fourth place, and I'd like to offer you a tutorial on how to overtake the top three, even if you're absolute shit at the game like me. So here's how you're gonna do it. You're just gonna let it happen. Let them take each other out, and just move on up into first place. And if you're looking for a tutorial on how to lose first place, well, there you go. Slam into a barrier and drop down into second place. Now, the guy who just overtook me is named Shadow Warlord, and a quick Google search will show you this is what a Shadow Warlord looks like. So getting back by him is going to be next to impossible. Nope, he's hit a wall. I've hit the back of him, and I'm up into first place. Okay, it wasn't that hard at all. Okay, cool. And in the end, back in the volcano, the Lotus brought it home across the line. That's a victory, baby. Ripping a little e-brake to celebrate. And as has become tradition for the top three, parking it back on the road and watching all the losers come by as they finish. <laughs> what a bunch of losers. Here we go. A little celebration, giving thanks to God. And then this guy disgracing him by having premarital sex with the road. A quick clip for you here in a battle with another Bugatti. I go off the road, under the bridge, hit the underside, hit a tree, and then I rage quit. Love to see it. Anyways, we started to back up in the Bugatti again, and hopefully this one can go a little bit better than that last race. Kicking things off in 19th place in the Bugatti, and I've realized these starts are all about where you use your nitrous, and I chose to start it right here because I saw an opening up the inside, and it worked out pretty well for me, gaining a bunch of spots, and then around the corner, this is basically the meme fest in a nutshell. Everybody off to the left in the wall, and then the three front runners just getting away. That's pretty much how every single one of my races has gone. Let me know if you guys have had the same experience as me. A little further down the road, pretty much the same thing happens. A couple of esports pros get into the wall, and then I just go up the inside and take all those spots. So, found ourselves in good old third place, going up the middle of a couple of guys here, and grabbing first, and finishing there. How about that? A couple wins in one video? Insane. Thank you to Morgan Freeman. The next race, another win. I am just as in shock as you are. Clearly this guy is too, so I decided to make things hard on myself, and picked up a pink limo. <laughs> All right, folks, you're about to witness greatness if the definition of greatness was absolutely shitty driving. So off we go. Immediately getting passed by just about the entire grid. If I had to describe what it's like to drive this car, I would say it has the agility of an elephant. A very, very chubby elephant at that. Here we go around the first corner and miraculously, I take it better than most, get tapped by some guy in a VW and I can't get the limo turned around in time to make the checkpoint, so I gotta go back to it. If I wasn't already at a disadvantage, I surely am now down into 18th out of 23, but in a battle with this guy here, again, I lose the back end of the car, can't get it turned around again, and wind up off the beach, in the water, and leave. Do a couple of totally realistic donuts in the lobby, and we're back where we're greeted by some guy who didn't start and ended up brake checking about five guys right off the bat. Things were going relatively well until I lost the back end again, go up a hill, over the crest, and down back onto the road into the wall face first. Did you see how fast I rage quit though? It might have been like .001 seconds, possibly a world record. I'm pretty good at something. At least I can say that. Now, my stubborn ass thought, let's try it one more time, and this time, let's just go. No rage quitting, just gonna give it the full go, and well, right off the bat, this Mercedes thinks he's gonna spin me out. Little does he know that the car weighs about five tons. That's not happening, little Mercedes. Into turn one for the one millionth time, off into the grass, up a rock wall, going sideways, off the cliff, over the beach, and into the water. And I sat there for a couple of seconds, hovering over that start button. I wanted to rage quit because I'm in 25th out of 25th and I just wanted to leave. 
I didn't though. I stuck it out and eventually passed that drunk driver in a Shelby Cobra. And about 30 seconds later, found another drunk driver in another Shelby Cobra. Got past him, so a couple positions there. Later on, the rally raid portion of the race, 43% through. I'm up in the 19th, take an absolute epic jump off a ramp. And while this guy up front is apparently magnetically attracted to trees, because he goes off to the right, exiting stage right, and eats a couple of them. If you didn't already guess, I did not end up finishing this race, didn't get there in time, and there's no possible way that came down to my skill. I am an absolute monster on the sticks, let's be honest here. Possibly the GOAT. My skill is just off the charts. No one can compare, and I'm not being sarcastic. <laughs> so here goes the self-proclaimed GOAT in the next race. We are in a town. And that's not good because where there are buildings, people are going to hit them. Everything's looking pretty good so far though, no major crashes. We're going into the chicane now though, and yep, a fucking bomb just went off. Oh my god, we're gonna have to take another look at that one. So into the chicane, bang, there goes the nuke. And this poor guy over here hits a barrier and then flies off into a school. Hopefully the kids were up to date on their get under your desk to avoid the flying car drill. I mean, hey, if it works for tornadoes, it works for flying cars too, I gotta assume. That chicane, by the way, is becoming notorious for producing some massive crashes. In the last video, we were in street tier one cars, I think, much slower than the Pagani here, and it still produced a huge crash. I think the devs might need to change up that area a little bit. Don't change up the track at all. Leave that as is, but maybe take out a building and drop a cemetery in there just for the giggles. I mean, countless digital lives have been claimed. Anyways, 30% through the race now, getting a nice move done on the two of these guys. They didn't even see it coming. Thrown on the nitrous, around the left-hander, and then around this second apex here, we'll switch into the Alpha GP formula cars and see what we can do around the twisty bits of this highway here. Into the hairpin, getting a nice exit, avoiding the guy in the wall. This Red Bull up front pulls over to try to block me. I'm not having that. Sending him off the ramp and then taking a shortcut to the next checkpoint. They come back. The guy that just tried to push me off is now right back in front of me. And then he hits a tree. Eat that shit. Coming up on the end of the race, I made a few mistakes, I know, surprising. These two guys make it off the ramp. I didn't get over in time to take it. I wanted to though. You won't see me missing too many ramps. Getting by a BMW, and now I'm totally off the racing line as I try to go around the outside of the Lambo. The poor Lotus is just sucking up grass. It's basically lawnmower simulator now. And unfortunately, the BMW that I passed before is now going to get right on past me at 98%, 99% through the race, giving up ninth place, and I settle for 10th. So I just set the controller down, walk away from the TV, let the Lotus go on through the beach, and eventually come to a stop in a rock. The poor Lotus, it didn't deserve it. A decent car for street tier two racing, by the way, if you're looking for a new car. Definitely give the Lotus a try. Now we're into the Alpha GPs again, and this gets pretty crazy. Normally the highway racing is pretty spread out and boring, but I mean, everyone right off the bat here is just struggling and jockeying for position. Everyone's hitting each other. How I haven't died, I don't know yet. Eventually moving up into 12th place and finding a bit of space here, but the racing quickly resumes the guys up front making contact I hit the wall around the right hander the three are getting into it on the left side I'm off into the grass more contact from behind into the barrier and this guy poor guy goes flying off the bridge But it is pretty cool watching everybody use the new fall off the bridge strategy that we've discovered Great that it's catching on. This was a nice move around everybody finding a hole on the outside and slotting the Formula One car right up into that. Max Verstappen style, or Daniel Ricciardo style, I guess. he's Yeah, Danny Rick would definitely make that move. Verstappen, he doesn't really have to do much more pass. So the Red Bull guys back in the pits are gonna have some work to do. Lucky for us, we get to switch out of the Alpha GP car and into the Lotus for some street tier two yet again and we're going up the hill around the carousel to the right and we got a bmw up front going back to the left for the second inclining carousel the bmw having a bit of a problem controlling that car blocking me off on the inside i'm gonna go for the move again i get blocked off yet again can't quite find the space to get that move done on him still hanging out in 11th place now it looks like a lamborghini and the bmw getting into it the bmw brutally 
shoving him to the left into the wall as I'm just kind of hanging out back here waiting for something to happen. Here's something that happens off the jump, expertly landing it back on the road. These ramps are addicting and it's not good. They might as well just put a sign next to each one that says, hey, do you want to lose a couple seconds on your lap? But in the meantime, catch some sick air while you're doing it. Because that's basically what happens. And some of these jumps seem kind of pointless too. Like I wasn't jumping anything other than grass there, but oh well, it is what it is. I'm in 10th place now, BMW right on my tail. Basically, we got a human centipede going here with four cars. Dropping back from the Porsche up ahead as we're going around this long left-hander, each of us opting to go for the shortcut through the farmhouse. And it's dirt here, so it slows down the car a ton, but if you have a bit of nitrous in the reserves, you can get through there and save a bit of time. Fast forwarding to the last section of the race in the Bugatti. This is where I feel most comfortable. These hypercars, maybe it's the power to handling ratio, but I just feel really comfortable. And I always find myself making up some places when we're doing this hypercar division of the race. This guy, <laughs> I decide to power drive into the barrier. He slowed me down a little bit and I decided to let him know what I thought about that. Completely undeserved, but I did it anyways because, well, I'm a massive piece of garbage and this was the coolest moment I've ever had in this game. Off a jump, off another jump, I got a ton of nitrous bouncing myself over a couple of buildings and up into third place passing, I don't know, was that like five people or so? I don't know. All I know is it was awesome and there's a nice gap behind me. So as long as I don't make too many mistakes here, take things nice and slow, I should have third place in the bag to finish off the final race of the episode. 98% of the way through, coming around the final corner, it's in the bag. Nope, I hit a goddamn wall. There goes third place, first and second, just watched me make an absolute fool out of myself. The most embarrassing moment of my meme fest career. And on that bombshell, as the Top Gear boys used to say, I guess we'll end the video there. So, <laughs> well guys, do what the YouTubers always tell you to do at the ends of the videos, and I'll talk to you soon. Alright, bye everybody.